Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Caleb and I don't typically make AI content on this channel, but I wanted to ask one quick question. If you had a dedicated interview on AI, would you pass or would you fail? Turns out this is actually much more important than you might think. We're going to talk about why in this video. I wanted to start off by announcing my AI for software engineers course. So this course is not about becoming an AI developer. This is about being a software engineer and utilizing AI to become more effective and more valuable. There's one specific reason why I created this course, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So the course is open. It's a pre-release. So if you join the course, you're going to get a massive discount and early access to all of the content. And the course has one very clear goal, which is to get software engineers up to speed on modern AI capabilities. So the main reason I created this course has to do with interviews, and I'm going to talk about that, but I want to first talk about some of the reasons why a dedicated course is needed for this topic, especially because if you've been following along, I just released a Fundamentals of Software Engineering course. So you might be wondering why another course right away, because if we were to start from zero and we wanted to learn the essentials of software engineering, there is a lot of material there, and I believe AI is a portion of that material that you should know if you want to be an effective software engineer, because this will allow you to improve your efficiency, your rate of learning new material, and increase the quality of your code. As I was working on the AI material for the fundamentals course, I realized there's more material than I wanted to put in the fundamentals. And most of all, the AI material is not exclusive to early career developers. This is a new skill that even senior software engineers need to pick up. So to me, it didn't really make sense to put that in the fundamentals. And with the amount of material I wanted to cover, I just decided to put it in its own course so I could focus on creating the best AI course for software engineers. That's also a separate thing that's easier to keep up to date and I can keep the core software engineering fundamentals separate. However, for anybody who did buy the fundamentals, because I do believe you should know the AI topics, I did put a bonus inside of the fundamentals course. So for anybody who did buy the pre-release of the fundamentals, you will get the amount you paid for that course off on this course. So it's almost as if you got the original course free. So that's just a thank you from me to anybody who did buy the pre-release of the fundamentals course. And now we have this dedicated course where I can explore more cutting edge technology that's more likely to go out date and I can easily replace content and I don't have to disrupt the fundamentals, which in theory should be pretty non-changing, whereas this AI course is going to look at a lot of new modern technology that may change in the next year or two. So there are three main things that I think a software engineer should be familiar with when it comes to AI. So the first is AI tools. Becoming familiar with the landscape, how to use some of the most popular tools as a super user and not just like the bare basics of typing in a question to ChatGPT. We're going to go much deeper than that. We're also going to look at agents. So this is a whole new layer of AI, having AI do things like build entire projects for you. So those all kind of go into the first point, which is AI tools, becoming familiar with what is out there. The second major thing is prompt engineering. This is the science behind prompting LLMs to get the best results possible and get responses that you can confidently and safely use in your projects. And then the next major thing is integrating AI into your software engineering projects. So this would be if you wanted to build AI powered applications or have AI features inside of your app. This will utilize your core software engineering skills, but add in that AI component and allow you to build modern applications that stand out and allows you to build really competitive apps. So those are the three main topics that I think a software engineer should start with when it comes to learning AI. So by going through this course, you'll go from knowing basically nothing about AI to being an AI super user, being able to prompt AIs properly and to be able to integrate AI into your apps. You'll also have a very good understanding of the different tools that are out there and how to use them. So you're not limited to just one or two AI tools. So now you have your original core software engineering skills and you get to complement that with AI skills. So this isn't a one or the other kind of thing. In a perfect world, you're going to get both of these skills to become the best software engineer possible. So this is not like a vibe coding course where we're not gonna talk anything code or anything technical. This is truly how to use AI as a developer. So we'll start basic and build up to more complicated examples. And if you're already in software and you want to fill in the gaps of this AI knowledge, then this is the course for you. So now I want to talk about the one reason I decided to make this course. And this goes back to the question I asked at the beginning. If you had an AI focused interview, would you pass or would you fail? I bring this up because over the last year I have been mentoring to help people break into software engineering and help people 
get into more advanced software engineering roles. What's becoming more common is having a dedicated AI interview in the full round of interviews. So now we're talking DSA, system design, behavioral, and AI. And to be clear, this is for normal software engineering roles, not some AI specific role. So even if these companies are not building AI products, they are likely going to expect you to know how to utilize AI to build regular software. So you need to understand these things at a deeper level than you might initially think. There is one person I've been working with that I think of in this scenario where he had a full round of interviews and one of them was a dedicated AI interview. The recruiter for this company kind of was like, oh yeah, don't worry about it. It's just to get an idea of how you are with the modern AI tools and how to build AI applications. So it seemed more just like a general screening on AI, nothing too serious, but because this person was already familiar with the other topics, DSA, system design, and behavioral interviews, they spent more time focusing on this AI interview. And even still, this interview did surprise them because it did go in a lot more depth than they were initially expecting. And ultimately, they did not get this role because they were not versed well enough in the AI topics. So obviously, from that point on, we focus a lot more on those topics, and he did end up landing a role. But the lesson learned here is that these AI interviews are not to be ignored or downplayed. They're actually critical for you to be able to get a software engineering role. What about if you're already a software engineer? Well, companies are giving more percentage of their focus and money to AI. So being an expert in these tools can actually make the difference between you being laid off and you being promoted or kept within a company. There's so much fear about AI taking our jobs. And I don't think this is an accurate statement because it's less about AI just getting rid of jobs and more so that the existing jobs need to adapt or these jobs will be replaced by new types of jobs. So it's more important for you to learn the proper skills to adapt to become a new modern software engineer. So if you know how to adapt, you can actually become more valuable not less valuable, especially at this time where companies are spending a substantial amount of money on AI endeavors. If you have the proper skills, which with the right guidance are not that hard to learn, you'll be able to set yourself apart from everybody else as a highly valuable software engineer. And even if it's not about interviews or getting promoted or landing a job, just learning these AI skills alone will help you improve, potentially double or triple your productivity. So you become a way more effective engineer without losing the core skills you've spent time developing. So I encourage you not to think of AI as just this little extra thing you need to spend a little time on. Don't treat it as a second class citizen. It's actually a first class citizen. You need to dedicate the time and the focus to become skilled in this area. It's not about whether you like AI or the way it's being used, it's more about being able to be valuable in the modern software engineering world. This is something that even I had ignored for too long and I had to play catch up and now I'm realizing the massive potential AI brings if you know how to use it properly. So that is the summary of everything I have in this course for you. I'll encourage you to check it out. It's a pre-release, so it's a limited time sale. You can join the course and get early access to all of the material. As the videos are released, I'll add them to the course and you can access them instantly once they're uploaded. As for AI and the content of this course, we're not becoming an AI channel, but I may release some content on how to integrate AI into your apps. So we'll still have a really strong backend software engineering focus on this channel, but I would love to create some content on how to integrate with different AI tools and things of that nature. So if you're just following along with the channel, look forward to some of that material and I will see you guys in the next lesson. Thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing this material from the course with you guys and the upcoming lessons here on the channel. I'll see you in the next one.